family and welcome back to Live of Chacha. But, um, I hope you guys um, have had a good day so far. I'm in the kitchen again. Yeah, Chacha loves, loves food. So I always love to cook. I always love to entertain. I always, <laughs> you know, hang around the kitchen. Just joking, guys. Anyway, um, I wasn't sure as to what to prepare for supper today. So I'm just um, going to go with what um, we need out to get. We're going to get um, this minted lamb belly strips, also known as, um, what's it called? Lamb chops. Yeah. We went to the abattoir to get um, the one that has not been marinated, but unfortunately we didn't get there in time. We got there at about 12 and they, you know, had closed already. So we had to get this one from the street market in the abattoir. This one is already seasoned. We've never bought this one before, but what can one do? I have to try this, but I have to ha add um, a bit of chili as well and um, other spices because I don't know, you know, how it's going to be if I just do it the way the flavor is always different from ours. Okay, the flavor is always different from ours. That's Hobby's voice. So, it's going to be a quick fix, really. I just want to, you know, open this pack. Put it in a baking tray. We got two packs. Put it in the baking tray, add the seasoning, and then just thrust it into the oven. Let me even preheat the oven. It looks, you know, properly marinated though, but you know the seasoning, you know, would not be the same as when you do it yourself. So that's why I'm going to top it off. I'm going to zoom it in guys so you have you, you can see what it looks like I think it's fairly pricey you get the two packs for 10 bucks mm -hmm. yeah we got the two packs for 10 quid which isn't bad I remember the last time we went to we have a try to get the last one we finished last week that one was a bit expensive yeah it was worth the price though. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they were fat compared to this. If you see, you know, the size of Yeah, they were fat because we had to, you know, cut it to size ourselves. Mm -hmm. But this one is already pre cut. Mm -hmm. So. I don't want the video to be too long. It's already three minutes gone. So I'm just going to zoom this in to, you know, make you guys see what it looks like. And after I finish marinating, I'll just put it in the oven and then I'll come back to you guys. Hang in there. It's not so bad. It doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look bad, not so bad, but I still have to add my own seasoning to be double sure. All right, guys, catch you in a bit. So guys, I didn't um, show you this process. That's because um, I wasn't the one that put this in here. I need upstairs to use the bathroom. And before I came in, came back downstairs, probably had done this, this um, stage for me or step for me. That's because he knew what I was meant to use the mixed veg I got for. So what I have here basically is just a mixed veg. Um, my thyme, normal seasoning, mixed veg, onion, maggi curry thyme, and then a bit of um, soy sauce, not soy sauce, and this is sesame oil. So what I'm about to do is fried rice. This is not my usual recipe, but we do this when we are in a hurry. We don't have so much of time on our hands and we have boiled rice in the fridge. So the last step will be just to add 
the white rice to this mix and voila it will be ready so when i come in and add the white rice i'll let you guys see that stage so i've added the boiled um, rice to the mix <clears throat> so all i need to do at this stage is to stir So when you have, you know, so much in a hurry and you have boiled rice in your house, all you need to do, guys, is to, you have boiled rice as well as a mixed veg, because without mixed veg, the, your fried rice will not be complete. So when you have those two items in the house, you're good to go. See the way the fried rice is looking? I'm going to have to stir properly, you know, stir it in properly. But I'm allowed to steam for another one minute, two minutes, because the rice wasn't really that cold. I'm just going to increase. The flame so it steams up faster. Voila! Here goes your quick fried rice, and we're gonna have this with the lamb chops you saw earlier. I haven't let me see how it's doing in the oven. So that's the lamb chops, that's what we'll be having the fried rice with. So I'm going to bring the lamb chops out in the next um, minute or so and then serve the food. Okay guys. Who's going to lead us in prayers? I will. Okay. Father Lord, we thank you. Bless your holy name as we invite you to this table to come bless and sanctify this food for the nourishment of our body into health. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Guys, food is ready. <laughs> come join us, guys. Oh, my signature chili sauce. Oh, you can't go with that. Except Uncle. I need a bringing back. The chili is so hot. So I may have to end the vlog at this point. It requires concentration to eat it. Mm -hmm. So white wine to it and some cold water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
subscribers you guys rock we love you guys stay blessed and we'll see you in our next vlog Voila.